In this video tutorial, you will learn how to record, apply, edit, and delete macros in Google Sheets. To record macros, open up your Google Sheets. In this case, we see we have um, five separate sheets and we're going to be on this sheet here and we'll be recording our macro here. So we click on tools, macros, and then record macro. And we're presented an option to either use absolute references or relative references. So absolute means I'm going to, let's say, select the first two rows, mark the content bold. So no matter where I apply this, the first two rows will be marked as bold when I'm applying this macro. With relative, it's okay. So I have this cell selected and to the right, the two cells are going to be made bold, the values. So wherever I click to apply this macro, the two cells to the right will be applied. But to really drive this concept home, I'm gonna demonstrate both. So now I'm gonna use the absolute references. I'm gonna do the following. I'm going to say view, freeze, I don't know, the two rows on top. And let's go ahead and um, select these two, mark the content bold and make this 18 pixels like so. And you know what? Let's also go ahead and add alternating colors. Um, whoops, my bad. Uh, not only on those two rows, obviously, but on the whole table. So here you go, alternating colors, choose your color, done, save. And let's name this absolute um, formatting as, as I've already used this name in another sheet it already suggested. I could give or save this under specific numbers so that I could use this keyboard shortcut um, right here in combination with the number to really, really quickly apply that formatting. I'm not going to do that in this case as I'm going to run it manually. Okay, so that was the formatting of an absolute macro. Let's now in February, try something else out. We want to try out, let's say, um, I don't know, views and watch time is so important that we want that to be, um, bold. Um, whenever we click in here, um, we want these two to be marked bold, something like that. So that, you know, whenever I click into a cell, I want the two cells next to it, for instance, to be marked bold. So what we could do now is Again, tools, macros, and you see, that's the one we, we recorded before. That's still there. And now I'm just gonna hit on record macro again. This time I'm gonna choose use relative references. And um, currently this cell here is selected and I'm just gonna go ahead and make this bold. And I don't know, maybe make this yellow, yellowish, like so. There you go, click on save and let's call this uh, relative formatting. Okay, safe. So let's see how we make this work. We're going to apply first our absolute formatting. So I clicked on the March sheet and now I want to apply this macro, macros and absolute formatting. Let's see the magic happen. Ah, authorization required. Hmm, what does that mean? Well, you see under the hood, what actually happens when you record a macro is that a lot of app script is put together, actually um, putting into writing, into code, what you are executing, what you are clicking, the colors you are applying. And when you want to use this now the first time, this script, it's acts or it's requesting permission to run. This code is requesting permission. So we go ahead and allow this and click on allow here. Now this requesting permission has the side effect that our macro was halted, stopped. It wasn't totally executed. That is why now I again have to click on tools, macros, and then say absolute formatting. That only happens when it's asking you for permission. And there you go. Looks perfect. Looks exactly the way we wanted it to be. Let's verify January looks exactly the same and March. Okay, good. Now, what about the relative reference I chose here? I said that whatever cell you select, the two cells next to it will receive that formatting. So let's try that out. In April, I'm going to click here in video publish time, tools, macros, relative, uh, yeah, relative formatting. There you go. 
Okay, uh, let's test this out like so. So I click in here and then I choose tools, macros, and relative formatting, and exactly. So you see it's relative to whatever cell you had selected when you were um, recording this macro. If you want to tweak a macro, you would have to delete it and record it again. Now, there's another way that you can deal with that if you don't want to go through this hassle, and that is by accessing the code which is backing this macro that you recorded. So I open up the script editor. What we're seeing here um, is app script. So Google app script, the code used. Um, this is comparable to VBA, which you might know from Excel, Word, and so on and so forth. And nicely enough, we have to see or we recognize two functions, absolute formatting and relative formatting. And if I wanted to change something here, I can easily do so in this code. Now, if you're looking at this code and saying, oh my goodness, I have no idea what this does. No problem. I've got you back um, because I have a video tutorial on Google Apps Script for beginners. So if you want to make sense of this, want to know how you can, you know, record your macros and maybe tweak them if you have to, then do by all means check out that video. Now I'm going to do something simple, which is really, really visible. Um, in one of the macros, I changed the font size to 18 pixels. How about we make that super big, like 38 pixels like so to see how, how it changes. So I'm going to go ahead and save this and I'm going to go back to my document and may, may I haven't applied the macro yet. So let's try this out. It was just to verify again, it was the absolute formatting macro. So let me execute this now on this sheet tools, macros, absolute formatting. And I'm expecting the first two rows to be huge, which is true. They um, are 38 pixels. That's exactly the value I passed in here. So that's how you can edit existing macros by accessing the script editor and tweaking a little bit with app script. If you no longer need a macro, delete it. Tools, macros and manage macros gives you an overview of the macros you have available. Let's say the absolute formatting. You don't need that anymore. By the way, you can also edit the script from here. You'll access the script editor. There you go. Head, remove and update. So now it's gone. So if I check again, tools, macros, I only have the relative formatting available, but what if I need that macro back? Well, there's an interesting feature called import. I can click on import and then I see functions that have been available previously. So in this case, the absolute formatting macro, and I can simply say app function. And if I now check my macros again, it's back. So if you maybe delete a macro, you need it back after a while, no problem. Just click on import. Now, super, super important macros only work within the boundaries of that specific sheet. So if you record macros here in this specific file, they will only be available in this file. I'm curious, do you prefer absolute or relative macros? Let us know in the comments section below. And while you're here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of the future video tutorials we will be releasing.